Hey, it's me. So I'm only going live in the Asian Accelerator group, and this is because I'm just going to kind of rattle off some stuff here that I've been thinking about a lot lately. It's going to pertain to lenders and agents and just real estate market in general and how we need to get better. <laughs> we we just need to get better, guys and gals. And again, I've been running a lot more lately with this 100-mile challenge that I am 10 days away on and have uh, 50 miles to go. So it's going to be a long 10 days. But um, I just wanted to cover, and I made, I made a little post, a little a little post about this a couple days ago, um, talking about how we need to flip the script on how we're marketing. And we've done too much as agents, I'll, I'll speak to as agents right now. Um, there's been too much, I will find you a house for too long. And I'll, I'll talk about lenders too, don't worry, don't worry. I know you're like jumping, jumping ready to, to bark at me and saying, you guys aren't good either, so. But as agents, for too long, the message has been, let me find you the perfect house. And it's just, that's not how it works anymore, guys. It's not how it works anymore. Watch. Two clicks. And this, this big fella, and this other big fella are taking you out of the game. If your marketing revolves around finding the house, you no longer find the house. The clients find the house, right? The only time you find the house is if you're really, really good at what you do and you have a farm and you can go find and say the buyer wants to buy that house and you walk up to that house and that front door and you knock and you say, I got a client that wants to buy your house. And this happens about this much percentage of the time, right guys? Like, let's not lie to each other. Let's not lie to ourselves. So the marketing has to change. What are you doing to differentiate yourself from everybody else? If you say service and or price, that's what everybody's doing. That's what everybody's doing. Nobody gives a shit about your service. Unless you can tell them why that service needs to matter. I've got a client under contract right now we've got a borrower that we're working with and he messaged me and said, Hey, we found an inspector. Do we hire that person or do you guys as agents take control of the process? Be the expert. Do not allow this client to just go run all over hell and find different people to work with because ultimately when that person has a bad experience, they're going to come to you and go, why didn't you freaking tell me? that I needed to work with an expert. Guys, that's so important, so important. Now for lenders, and I've been saying this, and I haven't, I haven't outwardly said this yet, but it's been something that's just kind of rattling around in my brain. And we have, who's our competition or our disruptor right now, right? We have, We have this person, right? Or this this monster of a marketing expert, right? This person or this company is disrupting what we do as lenders. They'll, they'll take about 25% of the transactions. You as an agent cannot allow that to happen because they're going to go over there and they're going to have no education. It's going to be the one transaction and 
They're going to have the one transaction with them. They're not going to be guided in the future. So when they go back to sell their house, they're not coming back to you. They're going to Quicken and then Quicken's going to send them to an agent. Guess what? You just got cut out. But as lenders, we've been failing at this for so damn long. The marketing has been, I'll get you the best rate. I'll get you the best loan. I'll get you, I'll get you in your house. It's not what it's about. It's about building the relationship that can continue. Last year, I closed 50 loans and 33 of them were with people that I had already closed a loan with previously. Now, good and bad to that, right? But that means that I built those solid relationships with those 33 people so that they come back to me and we keep the marketing. Because I educate because we educate them as a team, we educate them in their process. We use HomeBot, which I'm going to be coming to you guys with an awesome series soon. But we, we use different tools to educate the client instead of letting them run off, educate themselves, Google, and then go find different people to work with because they're Googling around and finding a lead generation site where they click in and they say, "How? oh, what's my house worth? Let me click in. Now I've entered my information. Now this person calls. I'm like, hey, I can sell your house for $20,000 more than what your says, says your house is worth. Guess who they're going with? That person. You have to be relationship-based or this will not work long-term. So again, Quicken, Zillow, Realtor.com. They are marketing on a transactional basis but once they get those people in their ecosystem, into their system, they won't stop. And I guarantee you that probably 80% of the people you talk to are already, that are interested in buying, are already in their systems. So how do you combat that? You have to change your marketing. You have to market educational. Guys, no one gives a shit that you just closed a house. No one. You didn't close on a house. The buyer closed on the house. Stop saying my client bought a house. No, that's relating back to you and saying you did all the work and you did a great job. Stop. You need to make your client the hero in your marketing. You're just Obi-Wan Kenobi sitting in the background guiding them through the process. You are no longer the hero of all of these processes. The client is the hero. And if I'm, if you, Watch this eight minute video and you take one thing away, please let it be that. This my client, this my client, that bull crap, stop. It's not your client. They don't belong to you because all it takes is somebody else to tell them something better and they're gone unless you make it a relationship. And then if it's a relationship, they you belong to them just as much as they belong to you. So stop taking ownership of your clients and start taking ownership of the transactions and building relationships. It's, I mean, Nicole, thank like much appreciated on the comment. Obviously you work for me, so it makes it a little bit easier for you, but it's really cool to see your name pop up while I'm talking about this because we went through a year and a half process and now you work for me because we built the relationship and we went through the process and you came back and said, hey, I wanna get in the mortgage business, who do I call? And I said, don't worry about it, you're gonna work for me. So relationships can obviously, based off of this, turn into other things too. But please, 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 please change your marketing. I'll help you. I will help you change your marketing. It's no longer my client this, my client that. No longer, I just sold this house. Nobody gives a shit that you just made a 3% commission, stop. Please make this business more relationship based. Make your business more relationship based. I promise you, you will have more success. And I promise you, you'll have less stress because you're gonna be working with people that you like and you're gonna be helping people that you like. So if you need help with this, I'm, I'm always here, but I had to get this off my chest today just to throw it out there. I've been wanting to say it for a while, wanting to talk about it for a while. So. I'm here, don't worry about interrupting. I'm going to a video shoot now with the fellow agent um, and we're going to uh, 
to work on some professional videos. So I'm happy to do that with you as well. Obviously, I got this cool green screen behind me. I actually just ordered a bigger green screen so that I can have two people standing in it. Um, so I'm here to help you guys. I'm, I would love to help you develop some relationship-based marketing. Talk to you soon.